Hey guys, it's your girl, Melissa Hayslip, and I'm here with the award-winning composer and songwriter, Catherine Bostick. Hey, Catherine. Hello there. I am so excited to be here and celebrate the success of your incredible film, Mr. Soul. And I want to talk with you tonight about the songwriters of this incredible song from the film, Show Me Your Soul. And I would love it if you could uh, talk about how you put this team together for this best original song contender for this film. And you put together the most amazing team of songwriters and performers. And I'm just, I'm, I don't even have the words to properly describe the celebration in my heart and spirit that this song has brought me. So can you tell us a little bit about the film and how you brought this team together? Yes, and thank you so much. I miss you. It's so good to see you. Um, Mr. Soul is a special film. It's a documentary about the first Black Tonight Show, which was called Soul. And it was on PBS from 1968 to 1973. And it was hosted by my uncle, actually. His name was Ellis Hazlip. And this show was kind of special because it really sort of launched the careers of many of the African-American icons of the 20th century. It was not just a vehicle for African-American artistry, but it was a platform for political expression and the fight for social justice. And that was not the model we knew for you know, late night television in the 1968, especially, which was a really volatile time. So the film sort of follows the five years of soul and also this journey of music, culture, it's like a love letter to black culture. Mm. And um, what's so special about it is the music. And we treat the music like a character in the film, which is really important to us. And so we got a, a really wonderful um, music supervisor named Ed Gerard. And Ed brought on our composer, Robert Glasper. They had already worked together on mm -hmm. a film called uh, Miles Ahead which was, if many of you may have seen it, some of you was a, a film about Miles Davis played by Don Cheadle. And so he had worked with Robert Glasper on the score and we knew that this story was gonna be a journey of music and it was gonna have everything in it, kind of like a kitchen soup of soul, you know, the roots of soul, black music, gospel, R&B, you know, old school soul, all the way up to like, you know, modern music it just had to have everything in it jazz and that's what we loved about Robert Glasper and thought he's perfect because he Absolutely. is all of those things and and the music is so engaging it's so it is everything you just said and more and I am thrilled to be here to talk to you about how you found the team how so you've spoken about Robert how did you find the other two so the really great thing is that Robert collaborates with a lot of different artists and we knew that we wanted to do sort of a signature song at the end of the film. Um, and we thought, well, if we're starting the film with, you know, sort of the, the father of soul music, mm -hmm. Donny Hathaway, wouldn't yeah. it be great if we could end the film with his daughter, the first daughter of soul, Layla Hathaway. And I know that Robert and Layla had worked together a lot before. And um, so he brought her on. And then Robert brought on Muhammad Ayers, who you're going to speak to in a few minutes. And Muhammad is an amazing, um, he's an amazing songwriter as well. And so it was just this really organic combination. They'd worked together before on a couple of, of Rob's records, Black Radio wow series um, you so, can feel that chemistry you feel yeah. it it's so organic it's just you know it's so beautiful when you have that kind of of synergy between everybody who's showing up to to make music and and especially with the message of this film the intention of this film beautiful it's just stunning stunning yeah these guys are just top notch and we had an amazing group of musicians as well and everyone came in and in two days we put this incredible soundtrack together uh, with the help of our music supervisor of course ed gerard and um it was really organic and it just flowed 
And we wanted to have this beautiful song at the end. And this song kind of evolved while we were working together for a couple of days. And I just, it just moves me so much, you know, I'm just so excited to share so this. Powerful. It's and so powerful. Here. And we are talking about the song, Show Me Your Soul, which is a contender for best original song. So I have a question for Muhammad because the song is so evocative and I'd like you to talk about the melody and the lyrics that you created for this song because it's so beautiful and so evocative, powerful and timely. Can you share with us what was your inspiration for this song? Well, thanks for the question, Catherine. I truly appreciate that. And uh, what's up, Mel? How you doing? Uh, to answer your question, um, how was I inspired to write the lyrics that I did? And uh, you called them what you did. I truly appreciate those words. Um, it was really the film itself that served as my inspiration. You know, here I was coming into this entirely different world. I had never done any work like this before. I've been working with Rob for a while, but this was a huge undertaking. You know, because essentially you're coming into a situation blind and you're tasked with having to write the closing credit song on the documentary you just watched the day before. And now Layla Hathaway is going to be coming in to perform. And I understand I've said before that if Donnie Hathaway is the voice of God and he is to me as a vocalist, then Layla Hathaway has to be Jesus. So if you got Layla Hathaway coming in, that's a nerve wracking thing. And I was a nervous wreck. I'm left overnight in the studio with Rob Glasper after they did scoring work that day to write a song that Layla Hathaway is coming in to perform. So I'm thinking, well, what can I say that would be good enough for an artist to sing that I admire so much? I felt like, you know, essentially Ashford and Simpson from the film when they, Ellis put them out front and said that you guys are stars. After Soul had been established and was a stage that important where everyone had hit it, that was anybody in the industry, how would you feel? You'd be a nervous wreck. But that's when someone like a Layla Hathaway, if she were to come along, and she would have talked to you before you went on stage. What would you want her to say? And that's when the words, do you know who you are, where you come from and what you possess started. It started out like a conversation. Someone who's a giant in their industry, someone who's a giant in culture like her, basically seeing you're about to go and have a moment where you can perform and just have a life-changing, altering experience, but you need them to whisper something in your ear to calm you. And that's what it was for me. So I know Layla is going to hop on in on this conversation. Hey, Layla, how's it going? And I am just jaw dropped at your singing and performance of this song, Show Me Your Soul. I mean, my goodness, goosebump factor is, <laughs> I don't even have words. Where do you sing like that? Stunning. And what you brought to this song makes it even more evocative and, and powerful and transforming. So I'd like you to talk about your process in working with Robert and Muhammad and share with us what that was like in working on this film. What, what was that like for you? I was so honored to work on Mr. Soul um, for, for a number of reasons, but not the least of which is that I get to work with my friend Robert Glasper, whom I love collaborating with, and Muhammad Ayers, another talented writer. I love the fact that my father's voice opens that film and that my voice is the closing voice in the film. And it's just so beautiful to be associated um, with Ellis and with Mr. Soul and with the legacy of soul music and Black America in this country. I'm honored. It is just such an honor to, to see you here. And I wanna tell you, you just sang that song and my soul was elevated. So I understand Robert's in the studio. Let's see if he can call in. Hey, Robert. Hey, Melissa, what up? Hello, Catherine. Hi, I wish Melissa. I could be on the, the Zoom call with y'all and, and the rest I of wish the crew you were here with us but I'm at this video shoot. What you um, doing? I'm actually shooting my first rap video. So uh, it's gonna be really amazing. I'm doing my thing. and get my rap on, you know what I mean? I wish I could have, I should have rapped on Show Me Your Soul. The song is already dope with Osmond, you know, on there and everything, but I should have did the rap on there, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, I wish I could have found another rapper to be on it, but, you know, I don't I don't really know good rappers, but I know some mediocre rappers that that could possibly, you know, but, but you know. This dude is extra whack, man. Whoever, whoever, whoever's taking him right now and checking him out, you know. But you know. <laughs> 
Yeah, but son, so, him, sorry to interrupt y'all's Zoom. Yeah. Just want to show you some love. Show me your soul. Yeah. The, you know, the song, he heard the song. He yes, loved the it's song. Dope. It's dope. You Congratulations. Know, Keep the, going, y'all. You know, the whole thing. Yeah, so, in love. indeed, for sure. We got to get back to work. He is too much. Oh, he, he, is, is he is one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That's Robert. <laughs> that is Robert. And what an incredible team you have put together. That's some magic special sauce right there. And uh, this song, Show Me Your Soul, it is outstanding. Thank, Thank you. you Coming from you, that means the world. Because yeah. I'm in love with your score from the Toni Morrison doc. That was just perfect. Thank just you gorgeous. so much. Well, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to be here and to support your film and your vision and this incredible song that is, let me say it again, best original song contender. So we're all going to be hopeful and prayerful and rejoice in this beautiful song. Thank you. It's a celebration. It is a celebration and we need that now more than ever. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Catherine. Thank you. I'm happy to be here and it's great to see you. I miss you too. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. You too.